taking out the trash. Trash man. Sometimes you gotta roll with the punches though. Things ain't been going quite as planned. Hold on, these are steep, steep steps. Steep. Gotta be careful around these parts. Hold on. I gotta use two hands to get this lock. I'll be right back. Some of you might be thinking, is this your new apartment? That's a negative. That's a negative. Uh, it's not. So, like I said, sometimes you gotta roll with the punches. One of those punches lately has been that I got a new apartment in uh, the Bambi Chan area. And I was supposed to move in there September 30th, yesterday. Today's October 1st. And I get there, you know, I'm all ready to sign the contract. I already put down some of the deposit, pay the rest of the money, whatever. Um, let's see what's over here. I want to get like a drink and a snack, but yeah, I want to tell you the story. I get in there and it's like, smells straight up like dog. The woman who lived in there before had a dog. Uh, she like took the Wi-Fi router, just ripped it out, took it with her. So no Wi-Fi, smells like dog. Uh, the maid and, and the agent were in there doing a decent job of, you know, trying to get it clean and whatever. So called the owner. Um, one of the lights was like out flickering and, and I chose like a, a decently nice place like uh you know like a higher budget than i was paying before so it was a little bit like dang you know i was hoping this was gonna be nice i was hoping you know i was hoping it's gonna be cool but it was just overall disappointing um so they've been working on it but it's one of those things where, you know, they had the time to get it ready. I viewed this place and confirmed it, put the initial deposit down on it like five days ago, six days ago. The woman had already moved out for a couple of days, so they had time to get this done and it should have gotten done in a more timely fashion. It should have just been done already, been ready. The place should have been move in ready. And uh, I don't fault the agent. Uh, the agent's been doing really well. And uh, when I do bring, when I do post the like apartment search video, um, I'll also include a tour. I like this coffee house, by the way, over here. I've edited a video in there. Uh, literally the place is called the coffee house. Um, when I, when I upload the video of the apartment search tour, I'll do, I'll show you all the apartments I looked at and then I will, I'll give you a tour of the uh, apartment that I, I finally ended up choosing. Hopefully at that point it is move-in ready. That's the goal. I don't know what that is. Looks like a uh, long hail. Come on, from hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the old uncle was like, yeah, yeah, you got it. Uh, I want to get a little breakfast. I woke up late today. Hello. I'm uh, buying, uh, buying me Jack Avenue. Come here. Yeah, let me buy me. You're like a moldy nook mea. Nước mía là mưa lắm nha, đúng không? Ok So, hopefully that's moving ready um, Just getting a Find me check it Không 
không mà lấy phát tay chưa ở à, à, nhà không lấy phát tay không lấy hết à ok Lots of different juices. I don't know what that is. is that like, uh, yeah, Chabby Dow. Let's see the Nidmia. So hopefully it'll be moving and ready. Um, I can give you a good tour of it. I'm excited about the place. I think it's gonna be good. I'll do the sound effect for you. Alright, it kind of smells weird over here. This, <laughs> all the uh, used Nugmia smells a little bit. Um, uh, lay highly Nugmia. We'll get two, two, uh, Actually, give me two glasses of sugar cane oh, juice. Um, yeah, hopefully the place is moving ready. Uh, it'll be good. I like it. It's nice, the studio. Uh, so, you know, it wasn't ready, but I was able to stay uh, with Trang. Uh, Trang's got a little studio as well. So that worked out. Um, there's a dog over here. The dogs over here, I think the dogs are a little bit, uh, they discriminate a little bit. The dogs, when they see white people here, are like, let me, let me bark. What are you up to? He might not be barking at me, but he sure seems to be staring at me. Anyways. I, um, I need to pay for this. It's going to be you'll like the new place and I'll show that in the uh, apartment tour video I think the apartment tour videos are really cool for people to get an idea of like what the cost of living is here or people who want to move here uh, kind of get an idea of like what they would need to spend on accommodation things like that I focused my search exclusively in this area this ward 19 well that's actually ward 21 but this side is Ward 19, Bintan. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just walking distance to all my favorite places and your short ride to Taudin. 
Uh, you're a short ride to Tau D and you're a short ride to District 1, so overall really good. Let me just put my, my thing down here so I can I put my thing down, put it in reverse. Uh, Let's try it in this mirror. Nookie, me, 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 I did it all for the nookie. Come on, the nookie, come on. So you can take that cookie. <laughs> what a song, what a banger. What a 1990s tribute. What is that, Limp Biscuit? It definitely is Limp Biscuit. All right, let's go. Anyways, quick little Good Morning Vietnam edition for you guys. Uh, I do appreciate all the positive feedback you guys gave me about the longer form content. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I also think that there's value to it and that it's a fun, a fun form of content and a good cheese. The soundtrack of Vietnam, horns and animals. Horns and dogs or roosters. Um, I think it's a good form of content And that it does give you kind of a, an idea of what real life is like here. But, yeah, sometimes you just got to roll with the punches. Things don't always go so smoothly here. Uh, I think if there's any takeaway from this video, if there's any lesson that you could maybe learn about life here in Vietnam is that you... You can't always expect things to go super smoothly. Um, there are gonna be mishaps. There are going to be just things that don't go like as planned. And sometimes, especially with the language barrier, you're gonna feel a little bit helpless because of that. You're gonna feel like, uh, you know, I don't know what to do. Uh, I can't even communicate and I feel anxious about that, so. It's really helpful, number one, if you can learn or speak the language already. Um, but number two, if you just make some local friends that, you know, can help you translate and help you through those, those situations that, you know, are difficult where you feel like something like this would be so routine at home, but over here it's like, what do I do? Uh, for example, a friend of mine the other day mentioned a story where she had a, she had a food delivery and she sent it to the wrong address but the guy when he when he got there to the wrong address she's like I don't know how to explain to him how to get it to the right address this would have been just a routine thing when I'm back home in Scotland but here it's like I just feel this sense of anxiety this helplessness that's gonna happen here but you just roll with the punches so Roll with El Panchos. Royal with Los Panchos. <laughs> That's not Spanish. Look at the roof cat. Look at the cute little roof cat over there on the roof. I forgot to tell you as well, the apartment that I was rent, that I wanna rent, the air conditioning wasn't even working. Like, I don't know, maybe this woman, she lived in there with her dog, a lot of hair got in there filter needs to be changed. Anyways, the agent just messaged me. We're gonna meet up in about 15 minutes. He said that the Wi-Fi has been fixed, the air conditioning's been fixed. All we need to sort out are like what kind of lights I want in there because I don't I don't like the white fluorescent lights. I want yellow lights. Feels more like a home to me. So we will uh, sort that out. I ate that bind me. Uh, I'll give it a 7.2. Pretty dank, not amazing, but good. Nice little breakfast. Um, but yeah, those are the updates. I don't want to show you the apartment yet because I don't want to spoil it. I want to leave it for the next video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Good Morning Vietnam vlog. I haven't done one of these in a while. 
That place right there, you can see behind my prison cell window type thing. That's the city garden. One day I want to live in that building. I think it's like 1500 to 2000 a month. The apartment that I'm about to rent is about $500 a month or a little bit less than that. But hopefully I can just get good little, little cat naps like that cat over there. And get some good work done. So I'm in the apartment now. I'm not going to show you. Still want to keep it a secret. But basically we got a lot of the issues fixed. Um, it's definitely cleaner in here. It doesn't smell like dog. That's a great thing. Um, we're going to fix the lights. That'll get done by tomorrow. Um, the ye get yellow lights in here. Um, what else? The Wi-Fi was very slow. So uh, they're going to put a new router in here and get that fixed. Um, all of these things have been happening um, via a couple people who have been really helpful. One, Trang, been very helpful. As always, she's just very kind and sweet and helpful and you know helps me in situations where a lot of times I'd be helpless in, in Vietnamese. Um, today I actually did this entire interaction, this whole transaction with the agent who's also very helpful and I will make sure to put his information in the apartment search video that I do so that if you are looking for an apartment here in Saigon uh, you can reach out to him and he can help you find an apartment or he can refer you to someone who can help you find an apartment uh, in whatever area you're looking for in Saigon. He's a great guy, he's been very helpful, very thorough, and he's been dealing with the owner really well. They've been, you know, sometimes you can get owners here that can be a bit indignant or a bit, you know, just kind of flippant or apathetic. Um, I wouldn't say that the owner here is like that, but the agent here is definitely um, advocating for me. And I think that's a really good thing. That's a really good quality. So I will recommend him put his information, his Instagram in the description of the apartment search video. But for now, uh, I'm, I'm happy. Tomorrow this place should be moving ready. And I'm excited to have a new lease on an apartment and a new lease on life. But anyways, guys, that'll be the end of it. I hope you guys like this Good Morning Vietnam episode. If you did like it, click the like button, subscribe to the channel to support the growth, and leave any comments you have. I'm really happy to hear from you all, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.